Hey there, YouTubers. Just a uh, very quick uh, layout update. It has been months since I've been up there. You know, I've commented on some of my other videos that, uh, you know, life kind of got in the way of running trains and finishing my layout. Um, you know, things with, things with school, things with family, just a hell of a lot going on. I mentioned in some of my uh, other videos, I've been trying to still do some reviews on rolling stock some techniques um, that I've been trying to master, you know, on uh, laying track, uh, weathering track, so on and so forth. But I am up here, I'm gonna spend a couple hours on the layout, and uh, what I'm gonna try to do is get rid of this pink foam. Um, you know, I can't really do too much with the layout um, until I get this painted. So I wanna get a, you know, a base coat down. Um, you know, two reasons. Number one, just to get that base coat down so that as I start scenicing, I'm prepared, but also, um, you know, this pink foam, not much, you know, th there are adhesion issues with this pink foam, so uh, by getting a coat of latex paint down, um, would just make things a lot easier. Also wanted to point out that um, I took a very um, light grit sandpaper, and you can see some of the distressing that I did, just to uh, help with that bonding, that adhesion, and I, I roughed it up, so... Uh, this is it. This is going to be the last of the pink foam. I got uh, some fairly cheap um, Glidden paint. Here's some leftover kind of an olive green that I had. And I also had like this reddish brown, um, which is pretty similar to Georgia clay down here. Well, you know, I'm in the Atlanta area. And uh, I had about a quarter can of this. I thought this was too red, too ruddy brown for, for me. So I just put them both together. And that's uh, kind of the color I came up with. But, uh, you know, there's going to be track on top of this. There's going to be, you know, uh, ground cover all over this. I just, I'm not really too concerned about the color. I just want to get that base coat down. So uh, that's about it. Um, what I'm going to do is do the far edges. So I'm not working up against wet, wet paint. So I'll do the far edges around the layout. Then I'll do the uh, front edges. Come back, put a roller on there, and uh, just get it done. So, a uh, quick uh, update. I'll uh, take a couple of pictures and I'll uh, wrap this up. All right, I got the edges cut in um, all the way around. Take a look at that. We're about uh, ready to roll here, literally to roll. So, uh, looking better. Pink is uh, almost gone. Um, you know, not much to really explain here. Just very carefully using a, uh, you know, a brush that you would do trim work. This guy right there. Um, just cut those edges in. And uh, I worked from the, uh, from the back towards the front. You can see I screwed up the paint there in the corner a little bit. That's all right. There's going to be a structure back there. It might even be a mountain. I've got a couple of different ideas what I'm going to do there. But uh, cuts in, and uh, next up is the roller, and we'll wrap this up. All right. Mission accomplished. So uh, there it is. It's a little bit of a rusty brown, I guess you would call it, but... Uh, you know, it, it, it's really just dirt is all it's going to represent. Like I said, there's going to be structures on it. There's going to be scenic on it. There's going to be track on it. You know, you're not even really going to see this color. This is really just, you know, fill in so that when the ground cover goes down, it's not on top of pink foam. But uh, that's it. Looks uh, good enough to me. And no more pink foam. So I am happy about that. There's a... Uh, Stored up all my stuff under there. Started buying some plastic tubs to clean some things up, protect my rolling stock. You know, I've been upgrading my rolling stock. If you've been watching my uh, videos, you know, I'm starting to get a good bit of exact rail, some Walters Proto. Um, you know, so that's down there. I'm starting to 
take better care of protecting that as I'm working on the layout. So uh, that's it. Let me back up here. See where we're going. Not too shabby. Looking good. So uh, next up is to uh, start putting down some easy track and uh, brainstorming on layout ideas. You know, I've been seeing some uh, people who, uh, you know, some posts in the model railroading community here on YouTube about um, some gentlemen who offer services to uh, do track work and uh, or layout planning. And, uh, you know, I've played around with Easy Track and a few other um, uh, pieces of software, software packages, and I have not yet been happy with my own work at designing. So uh, I might invest a little bit of money because you guys remember, I got a hell of, you know, this is going to be an around the room. This isn't just, you know, what you see here is what I've constructed thus far. And it looks like, oh, maybe he's going with like, you know, just doing some operations here. Well, that's not the case. I want this to go around the room. So if you recall from any of my other videos, um, this door here, I'm going to reverse this door so it opens the other way. You know, uh, just take the hinges off, knock it on the other side, and reverse this door. So that's not that big of a deal. But then I'm going to have to traverse from there, across the door, through this corner, deal with this other door, and get back. So I'm envisioning um, kind of like shelf work where I could perhaps bracket there. Bracket in that corner. Bracket over here. And finally another bracket there or something where I could pop in perhaps a piece that traverses the door to the light switch. And then another piece perhaps is permanently mounted on the wall there. And another piece that I can lay across here. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but uh, hey, that's the fun in this hobby, is figuring that type of stuff out. Um, if, uh, if you didn't have to work at it, it really wouldn't be that much fun, right? That's half the challenge. But anyway, really quick uh, layout update. Hope you guys got something out of this. If uh, any questions, just uh, let me know.